Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna simply show you how easy this is, how easy this can be to get the attention of your local market, okay? Most of you that are getting this are farming just a handful of zip codes, right? Your local realtor, you're working on, on, on maybe your local backyard, your local community, you have maybe two zip codes, three zip codes, maybe one zip code that you're farming. That's where all your business is at, right? That's where your buyers are at. That's where your sellers are at. That's where you would love to be, right? When it comes to social media over here, and I talk about this on my YouTube channel, I talk about this on, dang, that picture looks good. Was that four years ago? Holy crap, gosh, four years ago, you guys. This is a picture of, of, that I posted in, in San Diego here where I'm at. Gosh, what a beautiful view. Gosh, how, how, how time has, has flown and things have changed. So here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. As we're scrolling through our newsfeed and as, as we start to build out these, these other platforms, this is what I talk about on my channel all the time. As you start to, wow, nice car. As you start to build out your Instagram, your Facebook, your Pinterest, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, and, and especially your YouTube channel, if you're building any of these platforms and you're a local realtor, as you start to scale these numbers up, your friend list, right? As you go from 1,200 friends on Facebook to 4,200 friends on Facebook, 99% of every connection on all these platforms will live outside of your farm. They'll live outside of your city, and most of them will even live outside of your state. So if you're building a nationwide business, if you're building, you know, and, and if you're looking to get deals from anywhere and everywhere, okay, cool. Then posting organically on all these platforms, I guess will be your best bet, right? But how do we get the attention of our local market? Here's the very first ad you should run. And this is what this video is all about. This is what I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to do. Let me see if anybody just randomly, um, post anything like it, which, which I, I, I doubt because as I, again, as I keep talking about on my, on my channel and, and through these videos that I'm sending you guys, every single friend on my personal friend list, except for one, which is my actual wife, every single one is a, is a real estate agent. So you guys can come to my personal Facebook page. You can look at all my friends. Every single one is a real estate agent and I rarely see it. I rarely see that post. I rarely even after speaking to thousands of you guys, I've yet to speak to one person that says, yeah, David, I've ran that ad. See, and, and the crazy part is, is that most of you guys are trying to figure out how to market on social media. Most of you guys are trying to figure out the Facebook ad thing. Um, a lot of you guys end up getting your ads rejected, right? So this is how you want to do it. This is the first ad. This is what you have to do. This is how you get the attention of your local market. And I don't see anybody anybody posting any videos like that, but let me get, let me kind of just show you, let me just, let me just actually, you know what? Let me go to my friend, Becky, shout out to Becky. Let me go over to Becky's uh, business page real quick. It's this one right here. Actually, it might be the bottom one. Let's see if it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So this page right here, you guys, let me go back. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to her videos. Let's go to videos. Shout out to Becky. Becky did this video, okay? It was, um, she's now she's just on a freaking blitz. She is crushing it right now. But let me show you the very first one. This, this one right here. This one right here, okay? Perfect example. Here's the next ad, you guys. Here's what you guys have to do. And again, this only applies to those of you that are trying to build an audience those of you who are trying to look for buyers and sellers, those of you who are trying to capture leads on social media, as you're posting organically, which is what all you guys are doing, you're trying to build an Instagram following, you're trying to build a Facebook following, you're trying to build a LinkedIn following. It's like I'm telling you, all those people are going to live across the country. So again, unless you're, unless you're looking for deals all across the country, you're going to continue to twist your, twiddle your fingers and, and spin your wheels and, and, and continue to get what you're getting. You have to narrow it all in, okay? You have to narrow in, and it comes down to a Facebook ad. But the very first Facebook ad you need to run, look, Becky, she ran this one, and we got, um, well, it said it on the other uh, page. Let me, let's go back a little bit. So over 7,000 views, okay? So she did this one. This was her very first video that she put out as far as her business. Now, she has other ones over here, but 
after we spoke, after I gave her this, this tip, she ran with it. She completely ran with it. And now she's off to the races, dropping videos every week. So, but this is the first one. This is what it takes. This is the first ad you want to run to your local area. This is how you get the attention of your local area. This is how you stay top of mind. This is how you build that authority brand on social media. Because the deal is, is that as people are scrolling through their, through their newsfeed, right? As you guys scroll through your newsfeed, again, I'm, I'm convinced that the majority of the friends that you're looking at, you don't know. And the majority of the friends that you're looking at don't live in the area, okay? So as I'm scrolling through, these are my friends, Karen, Carol, Liz. I don't know any of them. And 99.9999% live across the country. So if I was a local realtor, I'm screwed. Like I'm posting my listings and that's the audience that are seeing it. Like that's crazy. I show them the home virtually. Okay, Linda, but what does that do for me? Like, look, Linda lives in, where does she live? I'm in California. I'm in San Diego. She's in Georgia. So, and, 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 and again, if she has 200 friends over here, then okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. The 200 friends are her family, coworkers, classmates, girlfriend, freaking in-laws. If you had about 200, that's, that, that, that's, that's about it. But when you, when you cross that 200 and you go to 1300, you don't know the majority of these people. And the majority of them, again, live across the country. So when you post stuff like this, little do you guys know it, but it's irrelevant to the majority of us, you know? So, so Rather than doing that, you guys, as we're scrolling through the, through the newsfeed, as a random person is, scroll, is scrolling through the newsfeed, they're not Facebook friends with you. They don't like your business page. They don't even know you yet. But as they're scrolling through, you need to pop up. You need to pop up to the person in your backyard. That's how powerful that ad would be. So as you run this first ad, which I'm going to explain what it is. As you run that first ad, the only people who are seeing it are people that live in that local area, okay? Now, this ad is going to be a very, very simple ad. Here's what you're going to do. Now, Becky, she did it from her home office, but she simply pulled out her cell phone and she introduced herself. That is it, you guys. It's what, what I call an intro video. It's not a pitch. It's an intro who are you? Your background, your experience, say hello. This is your local community. You're talking to your local community. You're not talking to Facebook world. You're not talking to everyone on social media like you're doing now. No, you're narrowing it in. You're running a Facebook ad and you're targeting that local area. And you can literally run this ad at as, as low as, let's just call it, let's just say three bucks a day, three bucks a day, about a hundred bucks a month. And you just have that intro ad running at all times targeting thousands of people that live in your backyard it all starts there now what becky did is she ran that ad for about i think she ran it for about about a week week and a half and got seven thousand people over seven thousand people in her local community to see it what she did next is she created what facebook calls a custom audience so out of the 7.6 thousand views there was a percentage of them that actually viewed it for at least one minute, right? It's a one minute and 50 second, it's a one minute and 57 second video. So let's just call it, let's just call it 57 seconds. Okay. I mean, let's just call it 30 seconds for someone to sit here and watch 30 seconds of your video. And they happen to live around the block. That was a person that was somewhat interested in what you were talking about. Now it's the first ad. It's going to a cold market. These are people in your local backyard that you don't know. They're not Facebook friends with you. They're not connected to your business page. That's a cold market. Okay. Even if you've been in your area forever, it's still a cold market, but here's the power of what Facebook ads allow you to do. You target that local area and then you create a custom audience. So out of 7.6 thousand views, those are not seven, 6,000 that all watched it for 157. Those are, those are 7.6 thousand that watched it for at least three seconds. Okay. At least three seconds. That's the minimum for, for Facebook to count it as a view. Okay. So, so, so there was a large percentage that watched it. 7.6 thousand watched it for at least three seconds. Now let's say 30, the percentage of people that watched it for 30 seconds would be a little lower, but it's still a few thousand. 
So what Facebook allows you to do is create what they call a custom audience. Okay, so now you're able to take, let's just call it 3,000. You're able to take the 3,000 people, put them in a Facebook custom audience. Now these 3,000 people, again, these would be all people who watched at least 30 seconds of it, okay? Those people are now in a custom audience, which Becky continues to retarget every week. So as she rolls out the next video, she's targeting all those few thousand people that watched the last one for at least 30 seconds. As she rolls out the next video, she's targeting all the past ones that watched the intro for at least 30 seconds. And she's um, retargeting all those who watched her free seller guide, guide uh, video for at least 30 seconds. So as you roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, you're retargeting those who are watching your previous videos for at least 30 seconds. That right there, you guys, creates brand recognition. And again, most of you guys are just throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. That's what I call organic posting. When you're a local business owner, that's, it's going to be very difficult to scale your business because again, everyone who's seen your posts don't even live in the area. So you have to, 2020 and, and beyond, you have to start budgeting for Facebook advertising. It's the most effective, it's the most cost-effective way to get the attention of your local market. Now, again, if you're dealing with deals nationwide, if you're looking to take deals and help relocate people nationwide, okay, cool. Social media and posting organically would be your best friend. But, but if you're not, if you'd rather focus on just your farm, this is how you do it. You and, and all I'm recommending and all I'm, I'm, I'm saying is that the strategy, the first video, the very first local video needs to be a video of you introducing yourself where you're pulling out your phone. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. Phenomenal job that she did. I'm gonna, I'll link this video right below so you guys can take a look at it. But simple, simple. Did it from her home office on her, on her iPhone and just simply went on a two-minute rant, one minute and 57 seconds. And again, the whole magic is to come in here. You post it on your business page, and then you come into the ads manager, and that first video is going to go under. You're going to run it as a video view ad, which is right here, okay? So you're not doing any of this on your cell phone. If you're going to record it on your cell phone, that's fine. Just go in and transfer the file to your computer and then come to your business page from your computer and upload that video. That's what Becky did, okay? You upload that video onto your, on, from your computer. You upload that video to your business page, and then you come over here and run a video view ad. That right there, you guys, getting 7.6 thousand people to watch the first one, that becomes your target audience, your warm audience for video number two, video number three, video number four, okay? Now, as you go on to video number two, as you go on to video number three, you're no longer running video views. You're now running conversions, okay? That's how you capture leads. And as you can see what Becky is doing, she's actually capturing leads by offering a free seller guide. So that's a whole nother thing. But right now, I wanna kinda of keep you guys focused on introducing yourself. Your backyard doesn't know you. Even if you've been there forever, they all don't know you. I've been in San Diego my whole entire life, 42 years, my entire life. There's 3 million people in San Diego. I don't even know my neighbors. Like, no joke. I don't even know my neighbors, right? So if I was a local business owner and, and I'm trying to get the attention of my local audience, there's only so many things you guys, you guys can do offline, which is what you guys are doing. You guys are cold calling. You guys are door knocking. Some of you that have some kind of budget are sending out direct mail pieces. Some of you that have some kind of budget are putting your faces up on billboards and bus benches. All the offline marketing, it doesn't work anymore at all. The attention is not there. The attention is on our cell phone. The attention is on Facebook. So all I'm saying for a few bucks, you got to keep that video going. You got to run it all month. Like I would run that video every day, all day um, for a few months at a low, low budget. And then every week you're running a new one. So you got this one going in the background, but week number two. So let's say seven days later, you drop the next video. Seven days later, you drop the next video, but you turn off this one, right? You turn off the second one, seven days later, and then you drop the third one. Run it for seven days, and then you drop that one, you turn that one off, and then you run the fourth one. But the entire time, this intro is running. So all Facebook is doing for you is capturing and building you a custom audience that you're using to retarget with your future videos. So this right here, you guys, is what it takes. After a few videos, 
your whole entire town will literally know who you are. Like literally, you'll go down, down to the grocery store and people will start recognizing you. That's how powerful this is. This is a mini commercial. You guys have the ability to drop mini commercials with the power of this cell phone, like for a few bucks on Facebook specifically. So this right here, you guys, is, is, is how you do it. And, and, and after speaking to thousands and thousands of agents since 2016, consulting thousands of you guys since 2016 i'm telling you most are missing the basics like this is where we start this is basic facebook advertising introduce yourself let your community know who you are and then hit them with week number two hit them with week number three and just keep retargeting all those who are actually watching your stuff so hopefully this made sense you guys that's the first one pull out your phone introduce yourself come back here to the ads manager run that first one as video views and 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 run it run it for i would say again run it for a few bucks a day run it for a few bucks a day and leave that bad boy on let that thing run run all month i would i mean what is that that's three bucks a day times 30. Like that's not a lot of money, you guys, to really start marketing yourself and doing it the right way, right? Facebook ads is what you guys have to start learning. Okay. So if you need any help with this whatsoever, any help, we can always jump on a call. We can do a strategy call. Um, I have a ton of YouTube videos, so I'll, I'll tie my YouTube channel below. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. But if you want to jump on a call, like I'll screen share with you. I'll walk you through this. I'll kind of go over the most important things you're going to need to know for Facebook ads so you don't blow your budget. Um, and, and, and I'll teach you the best I can when it comes to the, the best ads you could be running in 2020 and beyond to capture buyer and seller leads and most importantly, take over your local area. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. It's video views, um, it's video content, it's, it's providing value. And again, back to Becky, from, from video two and on, she's offering a seller guide. She's offering a seller guide, that's the magic. So video number one, you're introducing yourself and then video number two and on she's giving value and tips and strategies on the process of selling. And at the end of that video, at the end of any of these videos, she's offering her free seller guide. So this is what's going on. Look, this is the second video. If I click on, let's see, does she have it over here? Or can I see it over here? Let's see. Let's go to the actual Let's go to her actual page. So if I go to, these are, I'm in the video view. Let's go to the actual post. Okay, so if I, let's go to, okay, here we go. Okay, so if I, if I scroll through, let's see if she has any of her, where are the, okay, so if I click on learn more, let's see if she's still taking me to her seller guide. That's video two and on. So after you introduce yourself, you guys, after you get the attention of that local audience and start to build these custom audiences of people who are actually watching your video, you then retarget them for ad number two and on with giving away a free seller guide. So in this case, download your free step-by-step -step guide to selling your home. I'll walk you through the process and, it, and I'll explain how we can customize our plan to fit you. So now from video two and on, she's giving away a seller guide. So that's what you guys want to get your hands on. Get your hands on a buyer guide or a seller guide. Start thinking of one topic that you want to start talking about via video, via Facebook advertising. It's one topic. It's not every topic. It's not forbearance, foreclosure, short sale. Now I'm going to educate the person on buying. Now let me, let, now let me drop a video on, on, on what it takes to sell. No, it's one topic. It's either buyers or sellers. And your whole bait, what we call it, your whole bribe, your whole ethical bribe um, to getting people to click learn more is by giving them, giving them a free buyer or seller guide. And that's what Becky is doing. So shout out to Becky. She started with the intro video. Now every week after that, she's dropping educational two-minute videos on the process of selling and then giving away a free seller guide. Um, to make it all happen. So you guys, if you have any questions, if you want to jump on a call, let me know. There's a button below. Click the link. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. We'll jump on, we'll screen share, and I will literally show you how to run these ads uh, to your local area to really take over and dominate. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.